Eurofaringal airways are rigid intraoral devices that conform to the tongue and displace it away from the posterior pharyngeal wall, thereby restoring pharyngeal airway patency. See also airway. Establishment and control, how to do head tilt chin lift and jaw thrust maneuvers, and how to insert a nasopharyngeal airway. Pharyngeal airways, both oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal, are a component of preliminary upper airway management for patients with apnea or severe ventilatory failure, which also includes proper patient positioning, manual jaw maneuvers. The goal of all of these methods is to relieve upper airway obstruction caused by a relaxed tongue lying on the posterior pharyngeal wall. Indications for oropharyngeal airway. Oropharyngeal airways are indicated for unconscious patients in the setting of bag valve mask ventilation. Spontaneously, breathing patients with soft tissue obstruction of the upper airway who are deeply obtuned and have no gag reflex. Contraindications for oropharyngeal airway. Absolute contraindications. Consciousness or presence of a gag reflex. Relative contraindications. Insertion of an oropharyngeal airway may not be feasible in some settings, such as oral trauma, trismus, restriction of mouth opening including spasm of muscles of mastication. Nasopharyngeal airways may be used instead. Complications of oropharyngeal airway. Airway obstruction by an improperly sized or improperly inserted oropharyngeal airway, gagging and the potential for vomiting and aspiration. Equipment for oropharyngeal airway. Gloves, mask, and gown. Towels, sheets, or commercial devices as needed for placing neck and head into sniffing position. Various sizes of oropharyngeal airways. Suctioning apparatus and Yankower catheter. McGill forceps, if needed to remove easily accessible foreign bodies. To clear the pharynx as needed. Nasogastric tube. To relieve gastric insufflation as needed. Additional considerations for oropharyngeal airway. An Oropharyngeal airway used concurrently with a nasopharyngeal airway may improve oxygenation and ventilation. Relevant anatomy for oropharyngeal airway. Aligning the external auditory canal with the sternal notch may help open the upper airway and establishes the best position to view the airway if endotracheal intubation becomes necessary. The degree of head elevation that best aligns. The ear and sternal notch varies, e.g., none in children with a large occiput, a large degree in obese patients.